Hello everybody. Welcome to this tutorial on grammar of turtle script in K-Turtle. In this tutorial, we will learn about grammar of turtle script and if else condition. To record this tutorial, I am using Ubuntu Linux OS version 12.04 K-Turtle version 0.8.1 beta. We assume that you have basic working knowledge of K-Turtle. If not, for relevant tutorials, please visit our website. Let us open a new K-Turtle application. Click on Dash Home. In the search bar, type K-Turtle. Click on the K-Turtle icon. We can also open K-Turtle using Terminal. Press Ctrl, Alt and T keys simultaneously to open the terminal. Type K-Turtle and press Enter to open the K-Turtle application. Let us first look at Turtle Script. Turtle Script is a programming language. It has different types of words and symbols used for various purposes. It instructs Turtle what to do. Grammar of Turtle script in K-Turtle includes comments, commands, numbers, strings, variables and boolean values. Now we will see where to store numbers. Numbers can be stored in mathematical operators, comparison operators and variables. I will zoom the program text for clear view. First let us look at variables. Variables are words that start with dollar sign. For example, dollar A. Variables are highlighted in purple color. Using the assignment equal to, a variable is given its content. Variables can contain numbers dollar A equal to 100 strings dollar a equal to hello or boolean values that is true or false dollar a equal to true variable keeps the content until program finishes execution or until it is reassigned to something else for example consider the code let us type dollar a equal to 2004 dollar b equal to 25 print dollar a plus dollar b variable a is assigned a value 2004 variable b is assigned a value 25 print command commands turtle to write something on the canvas print command takes numbers and strings as input print dollar a plus dollar b commands turtle to add two values and display them on the canvas let us run the code in slow speed value 2029 is displayed on the canvas let us next see the mathematical operators mathematical operators include addition subtraction multiplication and division. I will clear the current code from the editor. Type clear command and run to clean the canvas. I already have a program in a text editor. I will explain the program now. Reset command sets turtle to its default position. Canvas size 200 comma 200 fixes the width and height of the canvas to 200 pixels each. Value 1 plus 1 is assigned to the variable add. Value 20 minus 5 is assigned to the variable subtract. Value 15 into 2 is assigned to the variable multiply. 30 by 30 is assigned to the variable divide. Go 10 comma 10 commands turtle to go 10 pixels left of canvas and 10 pixels from top of canvas. Print command displays the variable on the canvas. I will copy the code from text editor 
and paste it into KTurtle's editor. Pause the tutorial here and type the program into your KTurtle editor. Resume the tutorial after typing the program. Let us click on run button to run the program. Command which is getting executed is highlighted on the editor. Turtle displays the values on the canvas at the specified positions. Let us consider a simple example for using comparison operators. I will clear the current code from the editor. Type clear command and run to clean the canvas. I will zoom the program text to have a clear view. Let us type dollar answer equal to 10 greater than 3 print dollar answer here 10 is compared to 3 with the greater than operator the result of this comparison the boolean value true is stored in the variable answer and the value true is displayed on the canvas let us run the code now turtle displays boolean value true on the canvas let us now see how strings work in this application. Strings can be put in variables like numbers. Strings cannot be used in mathematical or comparison operators. Strings are highlighted in red color. KTurtle identifies a line in double quotes as a string. I will clear the current code from editor type clear command and run to clean the canvas. Now I will explain about boolean values. There are only two boolean values true and false. For example, let us type the code dollar answer equal to 7 less than 5 print dollar answer the boolean value false is assigned to the variable answer because 7 is greater than 5. Let us run the code now. Turtle displays the boolean value false on the canvas. Let us next learn about if else conditions. If condition is executed only if the boolean value evaluates true else is executed only if the if condition is false. I will clear the current code from editor, type clear command and run to clean the canvas. I already have a code in a text file. This code compares numbers 4, 5 and 6 and displays the results accordingly on the canvas. I will copy the code from text editor and paste it into KTurtle's editor. Pause the tutorial here and type the program into your KTurtle editor. Resume the tutorial after typing the program. Let us run the code now. The turtle has compared the values 4 and 5 and has displayed the result 4 is smaller than 6 on the canvas. With this we come to the end of this tutorial. Let us summarize. In this tutorial, we have learned about grammar of turtle script and if else condition. Now to the assignment part. Solve an equation using if else conditions, mathematical and comparison operators. Display the results using print and go commands. To solve the assignment, choose any four random numbers, multiply two sets of random numbers, compare the results using comparison operators, display both the results, display greater result at the center of the canvas. You can choose any equation which you like. 
watch the video available at this URL. It summarizes the spoken tutorial project. If you do not have good bandwidth, you can download and watch it. The spoken tutorial project team conducts workshops using spoken tutorials, gives certificates to those who pass an online test. For more details, please write to contact at the rate spoken-tutorial.org. Spoken Tutorial Project is a part of the Talk to a Teacher Project. It is supported by the National Mission on Education through ICT, MHRD, Government of India. More information on this mission is available at this link. The script is contributed by ITFC Bangalore. This is Madhuri Ganpati from IIT Bombay signing off. Thank you for joining.